What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna start working on the bowl that's gonna set the foundation for this entire course. So first thing I'm gonna do, here we are in Blender, is delete this default cube, and I'm gonna press Shift A, go to Mesh, and go down to UV Sphere. And if you press one on the number pad, and that's not the keyboard, but the number pad on the keyboard, it'll take you to the front view, and what I'm gonna do is press Tab to enter edit mode. And first thing you notice at the top left, we are in Vertices Select, and that allows us to select these vertices here. So if you select the edge and double click, it'll select the entire vertices that create a ring around the sphere. So if you press H, we can hide that. And if you hover over the top portion and press L on the keyboard, we'll select this entirety. Now we can Alt H to unhide the vertices we selected and hid. And we can press X or delete on the keyboard to give us this menu what I want to do is delete the faces. Now we have half of a sphere, which is great start for creating a bowl, but it looks a little bit uh, unnatural. So what I want to do is while we're in vertices select here, select this middle point here and turn on proportional editing here at the top middle area. Now if you press G, which is the high key for grab, then press Z, which is the axis up and down, you can now manipulate this and also manipulate the surrounding vertices. You can middle mouse scroll up and down to um, choose how much you want to select of the proportions. And um, we don't want to you know, have this too big where we lose the foundation of the organic shape. But um, if you rotate around, you'll see what you've actually done. And we don't want this to be too close to the middle and top area. So we'll just bring that down. And this looks to be great. So what I want to do is now is press tab to exit edit mode and go back to the object level. And let's add some thickness to this. So what I'll do is go to the modifier tab here and go to add modifier. And I'm going to add a solidifier. And that allows us to add some thickness. So you can see right off the start here, if you press and hold shift and drag select the thickness to the right or left, you can um, choose a direction of where you want to add the thickness, whether it be inner or outer. And once you um, are satisfied, you can just select this drop down and press apply. Now, to get rid of this um, facets here, which is the low poly section here, you can right click on the object level and go to shade smooth. And now we have a smooth bowl, but it looks kind of weird. You see that weird shadow that's going around here. And that's because we don't have any supporting edge loops. So what we'll do is while the bowl is selected, press tab to go back to edit mode. And we'll just add some edge loops. So what I want to do is press control R and select any area between two vertices. And once you're in that direction, you can left click and drag up or down. And we want to drag it closer to the top of the rim. And we'll do the same for the opposite side on the interior. So control R drag the edge loop up and we do the same for the inner area here so control R select these edges here drag it out close to the edge and don't take it all the way to the corner just bring it close enough and repeat that and we'll do it going this direction so if you press tab to go back to object mode you'll see that we have the thickness there but I think we can make this look a little bit more realistic and add some crease and seams here in the middle as well as the bottom so what I'll do is press tab once again press control R and I want to add an edge loop here drag it closer to this area and I'll do the same for the outer edge so control R drag it to be closer and I'll do the same for the bottom area so control R drag here control R for the outer area and bring it closer now, if you go back to the object level by pressing tab, you'll see that we have a nice crease there, which is more realistic. And I think this is a good place to stop for this video. And in the next video, we'll move forward to adding some milk to the bowl. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.